Let's turn off the cartoon here and show you the original. Note that the cartoon layer here has been created, giving you a new layer in your layer stack for your cartoon effect. Here's your original. Here it is as a cartoon. Let's turn that off. Let's go back to our original image. Let's press comic and see the difference. And you'll see with the comic button, you get that old fashioned style comic print with the dots. And if I zoom in all the way, you can see you have that dotted look here, like a comic book. And you can always move this around wherever you like. Maybe you want to move this here. Maybe you want to put this in the middle. And this time, now that I have it in the middle, I'm going to switch it. So I'm going to click on my speech bubble, go back to cartoon here and just click reverse on the speech bubble. And it goes back that way. Now it's a little dark. So I'm going to go ahead and use my dodge highlights button. And I'm going to make my brush tip a little bit bigger with the brackets on my keyboard and just go over this with my highlights. And you can see that we're starting to pop out some of that background by doing that and brightening up this image really nice. And I'm just going over it and I'm going to let go. But let me just show you, of course, when you add a brightness and contrast layer, you can adjust the image in different ways as well in the same way. So maybe you do want to get more of a pencil drawing like this with more of a white, you know, background coming through. It doesn't have to say boom. It can say pow or anything else that you want. And you can move this wherever you want as well. It doesn't have to be stuck right there. Now we've got a 1700 by 2600 pixel image, and I'm going to go ahead and run comic again on this one. Let's take a look at the difference. Okay. Now you can really see quite a difference between this comic and this one. So just changing the image size, let's go to hundred percent, really helped to focus on the details a little differently here. I like when I can bring up the contrast a bit and bring up the brightness enough where I start to get rid of some of that background texture and I get this really nice sort of caricature of the image. You can see the difference here from the original to that sketch. And then just grab the anchor point and just bring it down wherever you want. Maybe somebody, somebody's down here. You can change the way this looks as well. Make it more pointed. You can move this over a little bit. So you really have the ability to change all of this to do everything you want to do when it comes to building out a comic strip. <laughs>